Hey there, internet. I'm in Michigan. Check it out. It's my fiance. So she's sick, so she's probably just gonna be on the couch behind my shoulders the whole time. Uh, yep. There she is. It's like a door. Wah, wah. <laughs> wah, wah. So over the past month or so, as I've been preparing for ye old Christmas time, there have been a number of ideas that have popped into my brain hole for videos that I could make for the season. However, I didn't really have time to make any of them. And because like search result goodness, how, how do you ca call that? Search engine optimization, yes. For search engine optimization purposes, it doesn't make any sense for me to do them after like December 29 or 31 or the end of the year, you know what I'm saying. So instead of doing a bunch of different full videos about all kinds of Christmas things, here are four or five mini videos in one. Number one, a defense of Christmas lists. See, as I have grown older, I have realized that there is a certain stigma associated with the idea of actually sitting down every December and like making a list of things that you might want and then giving that to the people and asking for them. I guess because people kind of automatically assume that it's like you being greedy and just wanting to get a whole bunch of things because you've made like this whole list. So of course, oh, how could you possibly want that many things? However, the way I have always thought of it is it's not necessarily a list of things that that I expect to get because that would be utterly ridiculous and selfish. It's just a list of things that I would be perfectly happy getting. I also would not be unhappy getting anything that's not on that list. It's just a list of suggestions. And that's at least how I've always done Christmas lists. And so in that way, I think that they are perfectly A, acceptable and B, even helpful sometimes. Number two, my least favorite Christmas carol. It's the little drummer boy. And there are a number of reasons why. First of all, it's 100% without a doubt, the most widely sung and appreciated, but least biblically founded Christmas carol. And by that, I mean, not at all that there is. Or at least I should say, of all the Christmas carols that at least purport to be biblically founded, it is the non-biblically founded one. And most people probably don't even realize that the little drummer boy is not in the Bible, but the Magi just show up and we don't even know if there are three of them. And there's no little dude who's like, can I play my drum for you? Cause I don't have a present. It's completely fabricated, probably sometime in the history of the Catholic church. And also reason number two, I don't like it. I sang that song way too much in high school choir and I was a baritone slash bass. So every time that song comes on the radio, the only thing that's in my head is rum pum 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 for the entire song. And that gets really, really annoying. And three, as a whole, I just don't think the song is all that enjoyable or like great. Number three, something that has long bothered me about Christmas carols again, though not my least favorite Christmas carol is Joy to the World because it's not actually a Christmas carol. Yes, it is a song. And yes, lots of people sing it at Christmas time. And most people think it's about Christmas because it says joy to the world. The Lord has come and the little baby Jesus is the Lord and he's come. Yes, that's technically true. However, if you listen to the rest of the verses, it's very clear that 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 song is actually about the second coming of Christ when he actually sets up his kingdom and rules the world. Just to like rapid fire some of the lyrics, joy to the world, the Lord has come, let earth receive her king. He rules the world with truth and grace. And without a doubt, the clincher is the beginning of one of the verses is no more let sin and sorrows grow, nor thorns, um, something, something, the ground. Infest the ground. Infest the ground. Something like that. Basically, get rid of the curse that sin caused on the world. That definitely didn't happen at Christmas time. That will happen in the end times. And so, QED, Joy to the World, is not a Christmas song. I still like it. I mean, I don't think it's ever going to stop being sung at Christmas time, but I just want to set the record straight. But I think I actually just tilt to my hands straight. There we go. Finally, video number four that I wanted to do was to talk about my favorite Christmas... Favorite. Finally, video number four that I wanted to do was to talk about what is my favorite Christmas carol and one that I think is very much underappreciated and that is I Heard the Bells on Christmas Day. Seriously, I don't think I have like ever heard that song played on the radio in the past three or four years. But basically the entire point of it is that the whole story of Christmas and Jesus coming is the only thing that could possibly give hope on this world. On this world? In this world? I don't know. Prepositions are hard. But there are two verses right in a row that are just amazing and give me chills slash and or make me cry every time I hear them. So I'm just going to say them and I hope that they are as great to you as they are to me. It says, and in despair, I bowed my head. There is no peace on earth, I said, for hate is strong and mocks the song of peace on earth, goodwill toward men. Then pealed the bells more loud and deep. God is not dead, nor doth he sleep. The wrong shall fail, the right prevail, 
with peace on earth, goodwill toward men. And especially nowadays where we live in a world that's very clear that hate is strong and mocks the song of peace on earth, goodwill toward men because it's hard to think that even applies in a world like today. The peace part, obviously the hate part applies. That's what I'm trying to say. The only thing that can actually overcome that and help set the world right is the love of God that he sent to earth in his son, Jesus. And that's literally what Christmas is all about. Charlie Brown. I had to throw that one in there because I have an obsession. Those are the things that I wanted to say. I am now going to stop doing this so I can actually spend holiday time with my fiance like I came up to Michigan to do. Until next week, have a Merry Christmas and I'll see you later. Deuces. Deuces.